Rounds is recognized from South Dakota. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I've been listening to the comments so far, Professor, and I, I Dr. Omarova, I'm, I'm just curious. I'm, uh, I have a very difficult time in, in recognizing uh, the appropriateness of you to, to be um, uh, placed in this position. But I also want to give you an opportunity to respond to some things, and, I, and I'd like to just point out, I, I come from South Dakota where we've got uh, 67 community banks. They have 393 different branches. Um, I, I think uh, Senator Crapo touched on it a little bit, but I'd like to expand. H how would you justify removing the critical relationship between bankers and their communities that has allowed for decades of locally sponsored economic growth, uh, other than your belief that the government seems to always know best. And, 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 and by that, I mean, um, it, it would appear that you believe um, that, that you advocate for a full migration of demand deposits onto the Fed's balance sheet. Now, I, it would seem to me that in, in a classroom, you would have a very lively discussion with members of your class. And I suspect that, that would be entertaining, but I'm really challenged to see how that could be put into and that you would be trusted to be the the uh, person responsible for the management or at least the oversight of these different these different banks. And, and I'd like to give you at least a little bit of time here to explain that that process. Well, Senator, thank you very much for this question. Um, I find it difficult to um, explain what is a complex uh, piece of academic work in simple, you know, buzzwords, if you, if you will. Uh, but I, will, I want to make uh, one thing clear. I believe in the American banking system. I believe in the community banking system. I do not think that whatever Congress decides to do with respect to digital dollar or Fed accounts, whether or not Congress chooses to go that route, um, whatever Congress chooses, I think it is absolutely critical to make sure that community banks and their role in the provision of financial services is preserved. My fear is that that role is being eroded, and it's been a, a, an ongoing trade trend for the last 25, 30 years. It's it, the, in. Let me for, let me for, just I, yes. because I I want to hit on a couple of other items real quick and I look I I know that that we're not professors up here but you'd be responsible for working with bankers across the entire United States and and you clearly have scared the heck out of them. Um, they've been doing business for hundreds of years and they have modified based upon the directions of regulators. But a regulator who su suggests significant changes in what has been a successful opportunity to provide consumers with lots of credit opportunities and, 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 and in, an, in a growing economy seems to me to, to be a real challenge for them to accept and one that they'd prefer not to. I do have a question, though, with regard to you've discussed um, what, what would be, I guess, described as sub suboptimal social uh, businesses, um, socially suboptimal activities of businesses. But I don't think we've had the opportunity to ask you what it is that you view as socially suboptimal activities. There's a lot of activities that are clearly that you uh, think that have been financed that you would do your best to stop from being financed. Is that what this means? And what is a socially Give us an example of a socially suboptimal activity. Well, Senator, um, again, thank you for the opportunity to sort of answer this question and perhaps clarify some of my positions. I fully understand the difference between being an academic and being a regulator and working with bankers and working with all other constituencies on making sure that our banking system really channels credit into the productive enterprise meaning non-speculative, actual businesses, small businesses, large businesses in various areas. And it is not the job of the OCC to decide 
which specific business should or should not get a specific loan from, from a specific bank. I have never advocated that. And I believe that it is up to well, no, Congress with, with, to With decide. all due respect, uh, in the People's Ledger, which is your work, on page 1272 of the paper, you write that in that, in that new role, the Fed would impose activity limitations on lenders in order to direct credit to productive enterprise as opposed to socially suboptimal speculative activities. Now, that would suggest the work of a regulator. And that, to me, seems to be moving in the wrong direction. Senator, this is the banking law we already have in place. We do have the Bank Holding Company Act that imposes limitations on the ability, on, on uh, the activities that bank holding companies, conglomerates, uh, engage in. And that act is being administered by the Federal Reserve. But as a, as a regulator, and my time has expired, but just please, and I'll ask one more time because you haven't had the opportunity. What is a socially suboptimal activity? This is not up to the regulator to decide. This is a policy decision for Congress. Congress constantly, often, often, makes decisions with respect to what kind of activities we want to promote and what kind of activities we don't want pr to promote. For example, money laundering, terrorist financing. On, on the one hand, one could say these are legitimate business, uh, business activities, but Congress made a decision many times over that those activities are suboptimal from our social, social safety and public policy perspective. So My as the regulator, I will not ever step in the shoes of either the private entities or Congress with respect to making those decisions. Thank, thank, thank My you, time thank has you, expired. Professor thank you for your... Thank, thank you, Senator Roberts. Uh, Senator Smith from Minnesota is right.